and welcome to the Narrowbird Experience. Today we are casting off from Cross Green and we are heading to Whitewick. We make an emergency stop to fix our horn. Then we encounter our first narrow boat head on at the Narrows. And a boat, it's all high drama on the high seas. I mean, the Staffordshire and Worcestershire Canal. Let's bring you guys along and don't forget the cats. Oh, hi. the anchor in last night which was the absolute best spot if we had kept coming down the canal we would have found the visitor moorings which had rings yeah. if you haven't been to the anchor in check out our last cruising video where we take you with us to the pub yes there'll be a card up now So we had to just pull in to moor up quickly because we went through a um, under a bridge just then and so I beeped the horn but the horn didn't work. So we thought best to pull over now and check if we can fix it, check if there's any wiring issues because I kind of feel like a horn is quite a safety item and we don't have a deadline and it's a really straight patch here and it's easy mooring so we could just try to check the wiring and see whether or not we could fix the horn on the spot and if we can't then we have to think about getting a hand horn until we know what's wrong with it. We also wanted to check that the light works and Anna Marie didn't want to shimmy along the gunnel while we were moving. I guess you could have poked your head out of this door yeah. And looked up a bit. Ordinarily, I would use a multimeter for, for this job or voltmeter, whatever they're called. But one, I can't find it, and two, I don't think it worked last time I tried it. And I couldn't find the spare batteries. So I have a strip, an LED strip light that I'm going to connect to the wires to make sure that power is still getting to the horn. <laughs> You're pushing it now? Are you pushing it now? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Is the light working? Yeah. Is the horn faster? Yeah. It is the it is the least loud horn that I've ever seen on an arrow boat, so I don't even know how useful it is. So probably the next time we come to a Chandler's, we're gonna have to buy a new horn. We are just passing under the M54. So another nod to people who are traveling on the motorway. If you step off the motorway, or if your car goes off the motorway, 
into a smaller lane and then a smaller lane and then you get out of your car and you get onto the towpath. It's lovely. It's, like, it's actually quite novel um, being under the motorway and I don't enjoy it. This guy likes it. doesn't look very narrow yet but we are coming up to Panford Rockin which is only a boat's width wide it's 600 yards long there are a couple of places to pass so I'm gonna stay on the boat this time unlike some narrows where I go ahead and am crazy on the towpath I'm gonna be crazy on the stern instead and Yay. say is that a boat coming um, but we should be all right the horns working to one of the narrows along this stretch of canal obviously they spent all of their money <laughs> on the signs about the murders in Rougely and had no money left over for the informative signs for this section of canal it's not it's also not as narrow as Anna Marie made out they decided to only cut one boat's width wide. They just didn't have the technology at the time. I love the fact that we haven't widened it. Widened it. There's one more passing space up ahead. Is it? Oh. Is it this? No. It's a bit more narrow and then there's another passing space. And a boat. So luckily, there's a boat coming, but they're in the passing space. Are they though? Yeah, because I've got the map in front of me. It's all high seas drama today. <laughs> I knew we'd find a boat. We did the Langochlin and we did the Narrows. In winter. <laughs> and we never met anybody. Surprise, surprise. And the one time I don't get, the one time, guys, that I don't get off the boat to go it's check. summer, peak season. <laughs> Yeah, they're pulled over. The boat actually has quite a bit of power in these narrows, not like in Langochlin where it feels a lot shallower and you're fighting against a current. This is 10 feet deep, so you have enough kind of propulsion to move you along. Is it 10 feet deep? Yeah. It's deeper than most of the canal. They cut down, but not across. So there's a tiny bit of narrows left. Yeah. We've had our adrenaline rush. Adrenaline rush on the canal. That's what it's like. High dramas. High dramas. On the low waters. So we just had a quick stop for Morrison's, which is about 15 minute walk that way. And as we were walking back, we passed on the canal side, the owners of Narrowboat Holly who shouted out hi and they left us a present on our boat so we'd like to say thank you to the owners of Narrowboat Holly who we also have boat envy for
recognise this stretch of canal and that's because we have done it before because we came up the well down the 19 locks at Wolverhampton turned on to this canal for a very short time and then nipped up that junction just there onto the Shropshire Union last autumn if you haven't seen those videos then what are you waiting for? click over to the playlist which will pop up in the card in the corner and I'll leave a link for it in the description below Which one is that? Wittick Manor. Ah! Just down there. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah. Me? Yeah, I don't know what the moorings are like. I mean, I think you can just moor up and then walk from the bridge. Oh, don't worry about that. Yeah. I'll get it. You jump yeah. on. Alright. Okay. Awesome! Thanks! We've had to do an emergency stop. Not far from where we originally intended to moor up, but maybe about 10 minutes. It's at Whitewick Lock. 
We have on good authority from a man that we met at the lock that there is a National Trust property just through this hedge. Through the hedge? So we have decided to moor up slightly earlier and pop in and pay them a visit. Tomorrow? Or Wednesday? We'll show it to you this week sometime though, I'm sure. So this is an ideal time, if you haven't already, for you to click the subscribe button because surely you do not want to miss through the hedge. Thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye. Bye.